Hey guys, how's it going? Long time no see. It's been like two or three weeks since I last uploaded a video. Um, I Ever since I got kind of burnt out of Diablo 4, I did not have anything really to play. Everything was kind of kind of just bad games everywhere. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so now Dark and Darker, which is a game that I played in the beta maybe six months ago, finally released uh, a few weeks ago, maybe one week ago, I think, or one and a half weeks ago. I don't even know anymore. But uh, I've been playing a lot of Dark and Darker, and uh, if you don't know this game, this is like a, an action RPG, FPS, kind of Dark Souls kind of game, where you have PvP and PvE at the same time. So, in the released version, uh, which is I'm, I'm playing right now, it has the Cobbling Caves, which is a solo experience. So if you play solo, you can queue up against uh, 10 players, or 9 players, I should say. And then it's, it's free for all, basically. Uh, where back then, back 6 months ago, or maybe one year ago, uh, there was only the Howling Crypts, which is a map that was a party experience where you queue up 3v3, but I would play solo, <laughs> so it was like a 1v3 experience, so it was kind of kind of bad, but uh, the game was already pretty decent kind of back then, and it's even better now with uh, solo queue. So you have a solo queue experience, it's a Dark Souls type of game, uh, it has you know directional combat movements and all the type of stuff. And uh, it has two active skills, four passives. The game, uh, the character goes up to level 20. You have like eight classes or nine classes, something like that. And uh, my character is a melee class. It's a, bar a barbarian. Um, my skills here, I can show you real quick how it works. So the perks or the passive skills that I'm using right now is um, Executioner, which is increased damage with uh, Axe if I headshot. And then X specialization, it's five flat weapon damage, which is very good um, and then crush allows the barbarian to basically if you have a two-handed weapon you can hit a door and then you break the door and if you hit a chest uh, you can break the chest or if you hit like a barrel you can break the barrel and then you get loot from all those things besides the door uh, the door is just so you can go from one room to, uh, to another you can actually uh, open the door by interacting with it but because the barbarian is like a slow kind of guy uh, it's not worth it to open things by interacting with stuff. It, it's better to just break everything with the axe. And so, uh, yeah, the gameplay of the Barbarian is, is basically just uh, pick up the axe and destroy everything. And then loot and then, you know, pick up the loot and sell on the, the market here. So the game has a trade system where it's similar to Path of Exile, actually. You can find people by, you know, uh, trading in the, the, the trade chat and then uh, for example this guy is selling a double axe for 40 gold and uh, I can you know right click trade request and then I I have some gold here for example I have 2,800 gold I can pick up some gold and then trades just like Path of Exile so it's pretty good trading system and yeah that's pretty much it so uh, just a short video uh, to say that I'm going to be making some content for Dark and Darker, and uh, I'm also playing a whole bunch of different games right now. Um, but yeah, for now, just Dark and Darker, and uh, I'm going to show you a clip, or actually a full dungeon experience, where I go through the solo experience, which is on the Goblin Caves. It's a, as I said, it's a 10 people queue up, and uh, it's a free for all experience, so I'm going to show you one clip of that, and uh, from beginning to end, so it's maybe 10 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, so so just so you can, you know, see how the game plays out. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. I'll see you guys next video.